Sussex's Nightmare. Why Harry and Meghan at risk of total eclipse by William and Kate. Experts note that Prince Harry may reportedly be feeling uneasy with Prince William's growing popularity, as it may cause him to be completely erased as heir. The popularity of Prince Harry is falling while public perception of Prince William has been growing favorably and this has reportedly sparked jealousy on the part of the Duke of Sussex. According to royal correspondent Camilla Tomini, Prince Harry looks likely frustrated that his positive rating, especially with the British public, has flipped. A recent poll revealed that 6 in 10 people want Harry and Meghan Markle to stop using their royal titles after their tax on the royal family and the institution. Tomini said that William and Harry had a highly competitive relationship even before the latter decided to move to California with his wife and create their own life outside of the royal fold. Harry and Meghan always felt that they stood under the shadows of William and Kate Middleton in Kensington Palace. Royal expert Daniela Elser believes Kate and her husband Prince William are the best candidates the firm has to call in for damage control and support during difficult times for two reasons. First, she claimed there is no one else up to the job. The royal commentator recalled how Prince Andrew stepped back from public duties in November 2019 and Meghan and Prince Harry officially stood down from their full-time roles at the end of March 2020. Other working members of the royal family are not deemed by Ms. Elzer as popular and effective as the Cambridges in weathering potential royal storms. Princess Anne, the commentator claimed, is widely respected but has a steely attitude unlikely to be able to soften any hearts to the royal cause. Similarly, she claimed the Cambridges are more popular than Sophie and Prince Edward, despite the Wessexes gaining more public attention throughout the past year. Ms. Elsa wrote, When it comes to the Cambridges, there is simply no one else. The commentator continued listing the second reason why she believes Kate is a tremendous asset for the firm. She wrote, Not only is she adored by her future subjects, and thus an excellent means of distraction every time she pops up on newspaper front pages or social media with her signature bright grin dialed up to megawatt, but every time she appears in the public eye it serves as a reminder to Britons, and the Commonwealth, about what is coming down the monarchical pike. Referring to the higher popularity of the Cambridge is normally noted in opinion polls when compared to Prince Charles, she added, that is, while Charles might be the questionably palatable regal entree here, so to speak. If we stick things out then there is the much more exciting main course of the Cambridges as king and queen consort to come. The Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have arrived at the glittering world premiere of the new Bond film No Time to Die. In a rare joint engagement, Charles, Camilla, William and Kate stepped out onto the red carpet to meet 007 star Daniel Craig and other cast members at the Royal Albert Hall. They were welcomed by the Lord Lieutenant of Greater London, Sir Kenneth Alisa and introduced to the producers of the movie, Michael G. Wilson and Barbara Broccoli. Recently, Lord Haig, who lives at Cyfron, near Welshpool, is reported to be quitting politics to concentrate on supporting the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in their charity work. Prince William and Catherine appointed Lord Haig as chair of their foundation's board of trustees a year ago. But at the time, it was assumed he would simply be a heavyweight name to add to their charity. But this morning it reports that he's determined to play an active role in helping our future king and queen achieve their ambitions for the foundation, which enjoyed a surge in income last year, to a staggering £11.78 million. Pounds.